Pak Coklat. Terus saya jadi jadi pengen buat tongkat dan ikan-ikan dan di sini banyak Mbak Mira. Marianto, rumah yang paling dekat. Karya mau Pak? Tiga hari ini saya ini potong-potong rumput. Come to the side. So the story behind is actually when when I when I found this place, this place is full of grass like this and covered with with the with the all the bushes and bushes and trees. And then I asked Mira, what is it? And then. And Mira says the the owner of of this house is very unique and also very special character. He also created a sculpture before he was when missing three years ago. So Marianto did a some kind of an archaeological excavation of this site and using his technique of producing, if you know his technique of painting, he will. He put the charcoal and then he cut the charcoal into a painting. So with this part, he did the same. So he let the glass go and then he reduced some stuff and he highlights all the different sides. So it was not like this before. And he found all the work like this guy that are mostly of a face, eyes. It's like a journey because I pretend it as a as a archaeolog archaeologist or somewhere find something and then cut something and then find new thing and I try to brush the 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 stone and then I found the the sculpture the in Kali Uram tiger the white tiger is is a mythical animal for the for the people here because if the the white tiger so it means like the dangers will come there is a forest is called the forest of confusion like around here like the forest that still virgin until now never never got erupted never got the never get the 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 sign of burn but it's forbidden people to come and to cut the grass since the 80s when I'm looking for uh, some cold air. This area Kaliuram uh, has been developed during the Dutch time for the Dutch people who are looking for some fresh air. And I also had a simple with the head to go up the mountain. And the special place here is that you not only can go with Pakris to go up to Merapi, but also that you can have a, a cup of hot chocolates. So for today, I want you to experience some cold and some warm. I invite you to sit in front of the fridge and put your hands in the fridge. You will feel some of the cold and after that, we will prepare a cup of hot chocolate for you. While waiting and watching. So Patrice is also a guide. He brings people up the Marabi mountain. So already since the 80s, when he was still allowed to go until the top. So nowadays it's active, the volcano, so you can go all the way. This is very hard to do. It's the, how do you call it? The upper. Yeah, it's really good. Also, when I say, 
eet een stukje in Jokja in de 80's en dan zo maar escape met een grote camera en heb ik ook een pot chocolate in Pakris, so I know Lorraine since the 80's. Wie is Pakris? Pakris, ja. Hij is ook een guy die brengt mensen af in de Marabie. So, it's all ideas about the hot and the cold. Here the cold, but it's also the hot. This is a hostel actually. So, many tourists come here and stay here since the 80s or since, yeah, since Pakris is here. Mostly foreigners. But at the day you do like this. This is after 38 years. She came back in again. So from now, we have to sell this kind of chocolate uh, this way. the photographer in here in 85 eh, since 80 until now but the thing is he's the only one who doesn't really have any archive because the house burned down by the lava mm -hmm. and then this uh, and then he start again by making a, making a, this template so he can print the photo in here but basically he doesn't really have any archive anymore so this empty. It's empty. And, and then there is a story, uh, and there's a sound, yes. yeah, which is he uh, tell us about how he lose all of the archive and all of the house, even the ijazah. What is the, the, the certificate uh, of the school? Yeah, from the school. Yeah. He, he lost everything. This is uh, which is the name of the. Satu, satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, sembilan, dua belas. Kalau yang ini, Pak, apa? Ini suam, kalau suam itu tiga hari yang lalu bisa kita buka. Oh, kalau ini cuma record. Record ten. Yang ni apa? Ya, thermal cam itu untuk panas. Oh, jadi suhunya di atas. Normal itu pak situ. It's the 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 to 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 know at the time how the how long thermal thermal thermal. So how would you find how now if there is an eruption how early would you find out? Tanda-tanda yang paling awal apa? Bahwa itu akan akan meletus ni kelak. Sisi termasuk nanti GPS, ada kilometer, nanti ada arus sinkron. Memories from this place, and then Mira told me that 
This place is still the same with uh, 20 percent yet. And the owner here, Budehan, is still uh, the same person as she was kids. Mm -hmm. So uh, she holding hands, the kids here and the adults here, they can be kids from that school or they can be kids from high school and then the adult there can be the parents who make their kids there or they can be uh, in the present. Okay, so uh, I wrote means that uh, people here can come here when they feel nostalgic and then they can meet uh, Budehan to eat the food that they eat uh, in the chat room. Mm. So yeah. This is how it works. So the, this place is a place to... It's like a shop because I don't sell plants, I only barter. Mm -hmm. I sell plants with local residents here. Mm -hmm. So all these mm -hmm. plants are from uh, homes home. of people in Calibur. So they bring their plants from their home and then uh, they swap the plants we have here. And I, in the beginning, I collect plants from the from this area as well. So all the plants here are from the area. Yeah. So I think you basically have right. So you 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 collect them, you distribute them, so they will be new plants. Yes. Yeah. So actually, people exchange property on our of soil and also yeah. grow Exchanging roots in other people's. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Private. Thank you.